Hey, welcome back. I have been taking some much needed time off this week, both from work and the channel. And uh, I've never bought from this website before, but did buy this brand before and been having trouble getting it from their own website. <clears throat> but this particular one, um, Sharp Things, uh, had a reasonable price on these pens, so I went for it. And I've been checking out these, um, what are they called? Precision, smooth precision pens and uh, by recommendation by Lefty EDC. So all the credit there for him on the discovery side. And yeah, they're really nice. Um, ooh, cool. Let's uh, throw some of this stuff out there. All right, cool. Nothing too crazy here. Maybe I'll fold this over. So we have uh, three pens here, um, and uh, let's get into them. Yeah, the Sharp Things OKC seem to have a pretty nice website, so feel free to go check that out uh, if you'd like to. And uh, totally over-rotated on this, as usual. I just wasn't sure which of these I wanted, so I'm going to probably uh, give some of these away. Um, keep the one that I like and give probably the other ones away. So this is the mini standard stone washed. I found it to be a little smooth, a little small maybe, but pretty darn, pretty darn good. Um, so I wanted to get this special edition. I really like this uh, Valhalla special edition. And I really wanted to check out one of their sort of nude titanium finishes. Oh, this is interesting. It feels like it's almost a little thicker. No, nah, I could be wrong on that. Wow, that's a really nice, really nice milling there. Better even than I realized in the pictures, honestly. By the way, I still have some cuts on my hands from dropping a couch on my hands, so sorry for the the look there. Not beautiful. They don't really try and hide up that gap there, which is interesting. Some companies definitely do. Very smooth, as usual here. Uh, let me get zoom back out, sorry. Very smooth, as usual. Not sure I love this uh, contrast of like dark wash and nude titanium, but this does kind of address what I was concerned about on the other one, which was just getting a little more traction. This is really nice feeling, but it just sort of slides around a little bit. So I was thinking maybe this would give me a little more traction. It definitely does. It's almost a little too much. It's almost a little, not quite as smooth as I would like it to be. Um, but overall, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Um, Interesting, looks like they dark washed on the top too. So interesting little uh, design there that they went with. Let's take a look at some of these others. Um, I think they're all the same pattern, but just different sizes and finishes. So get this full size out of here and see what the full size is all about. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I gotta say though, I really do like the finish on my tactile, I think. My tactile turn finish is still my preferred. Yeah, I just kind of like the feel of this in the hand. Just their, uh, their finish is really nice to me. The weight and feel of this one feels a little more high quality, to be honest. And I like the fact that this uh, pocket clip is integrated. I also really like this length. This is a little shorter, I believe. Yeah, sort of right in between the EDC sized, which I have in my backpack and the, uh, you know, this small guy here. So that's kind of nice there. I do like that length a lot. That could be a really nice kind of all-arounder, to be honest. Yeah, that feels really good. That's nice. All right, and to finish off the over-rotation, let's jump into this last one here. And yeah, this I think is the mini again, but with the uh, stone wash which is, you'd almost call it like a dark wash. It's like kind of dark, but they call it a stone wash. So they must do something. I don't know, it must be the stones, type of stones they use or something. That's pretty good balance there. It's a little smoother feeling than the nude titanium. Yeah, it's a little smoother feeling, but then you get the traction. That's kind of the best of both worlds there. I, I really like that one. The looks are pretty darn good too on that. Kind of wish I'd gotten this one in a full size. This is a mini also. Um, but that could be really nice in a full size. So I think that's kind of my uh, decision there is this in a full size is probably my favorite of their models that I've gotten to handle so far. 
This again, really nice, but just so smooth. So smooth in the hand. I don't know, maybe I should just get used to it, but these just give you a little more, a little more traction and yeah, a little more predictability, I think. So that's pretty sweet there. How <laughs> they finish that. Let me see if I can get some good light on it. Really zoom in for you. Quite a finish. Made in some state, <laughs> USA somewhere. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I really like that finish. That's nice. It's kind of that best of both worlds for me there. Well, I got some food for thought here for sure. Um, and I do think maybe this pattern in the nude tie could be really nice. I think they charge less for the nude, the polished. I can't remember. Maybe the stone wash costs less. I can't recall which their least expensive finish was, but um, that certainly uh, is interesting. <clears throat> so I think that's it for now. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little unboxing. And uh, yeah, I'll be uh, probably giving a couple of these away or I don't know. We'll, we'll see what I end up doing, but probably narrowed that one down to this one here as sort of my preferred. And I think in a full-size Valhalla, the stonewashed Valhalla could be a really nice, really nice pen. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.